the company has moved this case to another station. I have the police monitoring every step I take. I have people following me up and down without me knowing. As it should, from a government that works, the police force are doing their job. Okay. And it's not just you. We are all indicted one way or the other. We've all been invited. And um, Susan, you are a prime suspect. Oh, yes. Uh, you and that uh, Fred, Ella's ex husband. Hey. Hey, please. I need you now more than ever. I really do. There's nothing I can do, Susan. Absolutely nothing. This case is huge. It's a mother case. If you're found guilty, you will go in for it. Oh, yes. And it's going to be a case of an eye for an eye. Oh, shit. Shit. I did not kill Ella. Heaven knows that I did not kill Ella. <sighs> Well, it's okay. Um, <clears throat> Officer, that young man called Fred is a killer. Fred is a killer. He is a monster. Yes. He knows everything about the death of my daughter. There's no way he could deny not knowing anything about it. It's not possible. He knows everything concerning the death of my daughter. Um, sir, he is under our custody. Now tell me, what relationship did you have with Fred when he was your son-in-law? The relationship with who? I'm not talking about relationship. I have no relationship with him. At first, I never liked him. Officer, I never liked that young man. I never liked him as a human being. I never liked him coming close to me. I never liked him coming close to my daughter. Why? Because my spirit rejected him. Officer, my spirit never accepted him from day one. Yes. He is dubious. He is a criminal. He looks deadly. He is over mean. He is not the kind of person I am seeing for my daughter. No. He is a wrong candidate. Officer, he is a wrong candidate. Apart from Fred, is there any other person you suspect? that could be responsible for your daughter's death? I don't suspect any person. No other person I'm suspecting. Because my daughter was a lovable person. Loved by almost everybody. Fred dealt with my daughter. So if I should suspect any person on this earth plane, that must be no other person than Fred. That young man, Fred, he is deadly. He dealt with my daughter. Fred dealt with my daughter. Um, sir, you have to calm down, please. please. Officer, Fred dealt with my daughter. Fred, Fred, Fred dealt with my daughter, officer. Fred haunted my daughter even after they had separated. He was still after her. Go out of this compound this moment. Papa, it's okay. I said go out of this compound. Papa, just, Papa, please, calm down. Calm down, please. Calm down, Pastor Sunday, baby. Calm down, don't do it, baby. You are walking, get, get out. Say, Papa, what is this? Mama, it's okay. Hey, why is he troubling you? Yeah? Why are you following her around? Eh? Just let this idiot go. Let him go. What have you not done for him? Eh? What have you not given him? If you want make it, don't you have a tom of shame? Eh? Okay. You never got one look. Kid you never got an answer. Are you not ashamed? Man is saying, dear look also. Get out. Nah. Mama, it's okay. It's okay. Fred, sign the divorce paper. Please just sign it and let's get this done with. Sign it now, Ken. Just sign it. Because I'm done with you. I am done with you. Just sign the paper and let's let's just go our separate ways. 
Oh no, I am not done with you. You are my wife and that is final. Hmm. Take it or leave it. I don't know why your parents hate me so much. Yes, we hate you. We hated you, we hate you and we will continue to hate you for raising your ugly hands on my daughter. Who are you? How dare you? Take a good look at her. Look at her. If you have a daughter like this, you have a daughter like this and a man beats her on a daily basis. How will you feel? Hmm. I'm asking you. Zania. I am asking you, are you staring at me? How will you feel? Will you be happy? Talk to me, young man. Will you be happy? How dare you? If and I'm not signing it. Hold on. Don't talk while I'm talking. Now listen to this. You are leaving this compound this moment. Dead or alive. Hello. I am not signing that divorce paper. You are my wife. And you are my wife forever. You lie. You lie. She said she doesn't want to do it again. It is not by force. Go digger. Just because you know you're no longer an ex of kin, now you want to force yourself and stay here. You cannot say, come and carry my sister and I put on your head and carry her out of this Jessica. compound if you have power. Jessica, shut up. Shut up! Let her be. Fred, get out. No, quietly, respectfully, respect your old age and get out of this compound. What is your problem? Why are you following me up and down? Why are you following me around? I said get out of this compound, else I'll call the police on you. Hello? Mark my word, you will surely regret this. Excuse you. I will regret. No. My friend, get out of this compound. Ah, and stop following me around. Fred, I mean it. Don't follow me around again. Well, mark my word. Let me. Leave. I said, get out. Shameless, Mama. Shameless, Mama. But this year, the year killed my daughter, officer. That is the truth. Fred killed my daughter. He killed her. But I will make sure he pays with his life. Sir, so, like I said, he's under our custody. If he's found guilty, he'll be brought to book. Well, it's okay. Um, <clears throat> What about your wife, Daniela's mother? My wife is in the village. Can I pay her a visit if you don't mind? No problem. Anytime you want to visit her, she's there for you. Jessica, you have to put yourself together. Please. I know it's not a good period for you guys, but... You just have to put yourself together. Everything's going to be fine. Um, sir, my deepest condolence. Thank you. The investigation is still ongoing. And the police will appreciate if you do not hoard anything relating to this incident. Officer, why should I hoard the information? Relating to... You people was finding out the cause of my daughter's death. But I told you the truth. Fred killed my daughter. That is the truth. You can do your work as police. But that is the truth. It's okay. Thank you. I'll keep in touch, sir. Thank you very much. Hey! Oh, I'm going to see you. I'm going no, someone should tell me this is not real. This cannot be real. This cannot be real. No. But a woman is not man. 
One who draws the sword goes by the sword. Woman is no man. He who draws the sword goes by the sword. Fred? Hi! Emily, I know you loved her so much. I know that. We all loved her. Ella was such a nice person, easy going. But Emily, what you wrote about Linda and Susan, they were just out of it. And I get it. You did that because you were angry. Alright? We are matured here. You know, someone can say something he or she doesn't mean. Will you come off it, Greg? You did not come into my office to say this crap, did you? And I am certain you were not here to defend your girlfriend either. Defend? I wasn't defending her. I was just trying to tell you. Emily, I am trying to open your eyes to see things differently. Really? Oh, yes. I know we had issues in the past some time. Friends do. But it didn't get to the point of killing Anna. Try to see these things, please. During Linda's birthday, Ella's drink was poisoned. Yes. Immediately after that, her car was tampered with and her car brake broken off two times. Did you count it? Of course I am sure you did not, but I've been keeping records. You are here defending someone you think that matters most to you. Whereas the same person threatened to deal with Ella countless times some time ago. How do you defend that? Emily, this is the same thing. It still boils down to the same thing I was trying to explain to you. Eh? Look at this thing now. Threatened. Threatened. One can threaten but didn't carry out the act. And listen, don't also forget that Ella had a toxic marriage experience. I have not forgotten that. You have forgotten. You have. Because if you're putting that into considerations, you won't be mentioning all this. Greg, you're getting on my nerves. You're actually getting on my nerves with what brought you here. But the truth is, I will do whatever it takes. I will write in English language, in French, Latin, whatever language if need be. To make sure I fish out the killer of my friend. And when that is done, the person must go down for it. So don't come to my office to preach to me about your girlfriend's innocence because I will not have it. Of course, we all know how much of a bitter soul Linda is. If she's found guilty, she will go down for it. That is applicable to Fred as well. Leave my office. Wait, what? I, I should leave your office? This minute. Has he gotten to that? Get out. Get out! I don't blame you. I don't. Anela, you killed Anela. I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. You better wait there. Informa, I swear I'm going to kill you. 
You kill Daniela. I will kill Daniela. If I'm all kill Daniela. Eh? Hi. Hey. If I'm I'm going to kill you today. I swear to God, I'm going to kill you today. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you today. Come on. Why will you kill Daniela? Why will you kill Daniela? No. No, no, no! No! Hey! Hey! No. No. Jesus Christ. Hey! I hope Pupin has not found out that I killed Daniela. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Jack. Mr. Green. Mr. Jack. Mr. Green. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack. Mr. Green. Mr. Green. Mr. Jack. Jack. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack. Mr. Green. So this is how I'm going to die. Mama, please. Mama, please. Mama, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I did not do it intentionally. I didn't just know what came over me. Ella, Ella, please forgive me, please. please. I'm sorry. I didn't just know what came up for me. Ella, 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 please forgive me. Ella, please go. Go, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. You know, ever since the death of Ella, I've been so restless. Same here. You're not alone. Your wife. How she even coping? I mean, they were best friends in our secondary school days.
She doesn't do anything. She doesn't eat. I've tried to talk her out of it, but it's not working. Start. It is well. We well, see anybody that did this. Ella may you so trouble that person until he he or she confesses and die. Amen. So shall it be. that particular company everything about them is stress like there is nothing you do they will they will like they discredited him exactly my darling please I won't stress myself I won't stress myself for nothing I mean, I'm, I'm tired Hello? Like this hold on I'll call you back I wanted you to go and see. I want you to go and see. Now you've gone, you've seen, you're back. No, you see. Ah, ah, go back. Give me that salute. Give it to me. I deserve it. Tension. Another one. Woo! My God. My God, sister, I'm so happy to see you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. My sister is a graduate. I didn't know you were going to be home. My sister is a graduate. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. Hey! Sis, how far now? What's been happening to you? Oh my love, how are you? How you not go work today? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Today hey, I wanted to be at home before you come back. I want to surprise my sister. <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you. So how see you. Fine, well. I hope you had fun in camp. Are you sure?
like it. Mm -hmm. I love this dress. I know you will. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Look, thank you for everything you have done for me. I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. And I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. Mm? Thank you. I am so proud of you. I am proud of the woman you've become. Hmm? And um, now that you are done with school, mm -hmm. you should be thinking of getting a, a job. <laughs> so don't worry. When it comes to that one, I'll take care of it, okay? I'm getting you a befitting job for you. Sis, me. I'm not thinking of getting a job for now. Ha. Mm, really? I just want to chill. I want soft life. Let me choose more. Ha. Just came out of school the next thing, getting a job. I, mean, I don't want stress, so let me enjoy my sister's money for a while. Afterwards, you can get me a job. But for now, chilling. Okay. Ha. So you want to enjoy your sister's money? Mm -hmm. It's okay. I get you. But while you are enjoying your sister's money, you should know you will be working for it. Nothing is free in free time, baby girl. I don't understand. So, consider yourself my personal assistant. My <laughs> Oh, sis. <laughs> sis, you're always doing this. Babe. You know, so working as a PA. Of course. Oh, my God. You have to pay for every dime I will be giving you. Eh, no problem, ma'am. Mm. At least, I'll be following you everywhere. <laughs> but hmm, I'll spend all my time, but most of my time, taking pictures and uploading on Instagram. I hope you can cope with a PA like me. And see, I'll fire you the next day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, but really, I... <laughs> I get it. I understand. You want to <coughs> take time and mm -hmm. uh, think about your life mm -hmm. and know what you want for yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. But, um... Mm -hmm. Sis. There's something very important I want to talk to you about. What is it? I know now you are done with school. Mm -hmm. And when you were in school, you had one or two relationships and all that. That's cool. Oh, it's okay, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying it happens. Everybody did it. And that was when you were in school. Those days are gone. Okay. Now you are done with school and you are in the real life. Do you understand? So any relationship you get into now might lead to something serious. Yes, I'm just telling you. Okay. So Jesse, I want you to be very careful. I want you to be careful with the man you want to end up with or people you go into relationship with. I'm serious. Jesse, Jesse. I'm listening. I need your concentration. Okay, sis. I'm serious. <clears throat> I want you to be careful. Vet them. Vet them thoroughly. Do you understand? Yes. You know my story. You know what I went through in the hands of men. And I do not want you to go through that. If there's anything I would give you in this life, is for you to learn from my mistakes. So you do not make the same mistake. Do you understand? Yes. 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 Fine. As a matter of fact, you have to promise me something. What is it, sis? You have to promise me that when you meet anyone, you bring the person ah. to me to vet him. <laughs> I am course. serious. Of course, sis. Jesse. <clears throat> I have to vet the person. Okay. I promise before I go into any relationship, I must have to vet the person and then bring the person home for my sister to vet. Good. Noted. Better. <laughs> sis, of course, you're the only one I have in this world. My only big sis. The only sibling I have, so who else would vet my man if not you? Definitely, I will. And since I'm so sorry for all that has happened to you, honestly, you do not deserve it. Mm. My good Jesse, can you stop? I'm this sorry. is not about me. I am fine now. We're talking about you. Okay. okay? I just want you to learn from me. Okay. I am your big sis for something, for me to make mistakes, so you don't make them. Do you understand? Yes. 
Good. I love now, you. Now, don't make me cry. Don't. Stop. Whew, let's eat. Okay, um, but sis, when are we going home to see Mama and Papa? I really want them to see me oh, as a graduate. My new, uh, they need to see <laughs> my present status. The so last time they saw me, I was still a copper. Oh, okay. Now I am done. And to eat your food first. I'm eating, but... When you're done eating, we can talk about that one. Yeah, but we need to go and see them. Wow, they need to know that <laughs> their daughter is not a graduate. They need to see me as a graduate. Ah, mm. not easy. I don't hear. Ah. Are you done? Uh -uh. Can I continue with oh, my yes, food? It's, 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 Why didn't you get water? I want to drink water. You know oh, I don't like all these okay, things. Okay. Get me water. My bad. Sorry. It's okay. Nobody told me this wasn't going to be easy. Oh. I didn't know. I never knew that feels its way. This is so painful. So painful regardless. You might never know until it happens to you. <laughs> you need to experience death to actually know how painful it is. This is not going to be easy. <laughs> I knew that was so painful but I never, I never imagined it to be like this. How do I move on? How do I move past this stage? How do I get this off my mind? How do I get my life back? Any information from Fred? No, nothing new. His ex-girlfriend? That girl is so unfortunate, but I won't give up. Whoa. Off the record, I don't think she's guilty. Really? Well, you're right. I'm not far from the truth. A new guy just showed up. A new guy? Who? Daniela's lover. She had one? Our sister said they were barely six months in the relationship. Six months? You want to get something from him? Thank you, Dad. 